MGRX. So what is the MGRX? Uh, so it's an all-in-one solution for meibomian gland dysfunction, no disposables, you know, which is key, obviously. You can do multiple treatments with one device. It's five to 10 minutes of clinician time total. Uh, we would expect that you would have ROI in 20 to 30 patients. For your warranty, uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, um, not a lot to go wrong on this device. So just to get familiar with what the parts of the device are, um, this you'll see in this next video I'm going to show you, this is a preheater. And the only purpose of that is to preheat these three different instruments that we're going to use. The handheld device, of course, has is lithium ion powered, has a heater in it. And all we're doing with the preheater is saving battery and saving your time. Because if we, if we didn't have the preheater, you could use the device by itself, but it's going to take you three, four minutes to heat up these instruments to, you know, to 110 to 113 is the treatment temperatures. And there's just really no reason to do it. So we, we created this preheater such that now switching times are more like 45 seconds to switch instruments and get it up to speed up to temperature, I should say. And each of these instruments uh, are autoclavable. Uh, you can sterilize them using alcohol, whatever your current method is that you would uh, treat any surgical uh, or stainless steel instrument you can do with these instruments as well. And the three steps I'm going to take you through here in this video, uh, thermal debridement. So you're all familiar with debri debridement. Um, we've added heat to debridement. So what does that do? So you know, what the feedback I get from clinicians, uh, I can use less pressure. Uh, I'm melting, you know, the caps off the glands. Uh, that's the feedback that we're getting. So pretty easy, pretty quick, you know, less than two minutes. Uh, up to you. Maybe you'd have your tech do this. Maybe you wouldn't. It's really kind of up to you and maybe the laws of your state. I'm not, not sure how each state would handle that. Um, the thermal lid massage, uh, definitely have your tech do this. It's two minutes per eye using ultrasound gel, uh, applying heat, you know, light pressure, you're all familiar with that idea. And this is, you know, all using heat and light pressure to get ready for thermal expression. So now we go in with an expressor that is heated, uh, external paddle only, external to the eyelid, and you uh, are going to use controlled pressure. So it's not excessive pressure, doesn't hurt. Uh, and you're going to be able to express those glands um, very easily. So uh, the, the treatment itself, the whole protocol is very comfortable. I've had it done twice. Uh, I'm ready for a third one. So whoever wants to uh, give me that one out there in the audience, I'm happy to, to come by. Um, so let's go ahead and look at each step. Um, we're just going to kind of give you hit the highlights here. This is our in-service video. So it's about seven minutes long. We're not, we're not going to watch the whole thing. Don't worry. So I'll turn down the music here. Um, you kind of So you've kind of heard me talk about this already. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward here. I didn't want to skip that far. So here we are loading uh, the first instrument. That's the debridement instrument. And it's just a double click uh, of the control button that says, yep, I've loaded the instrument. And then it's going to take about 45 seconds for the device to check temperature. Uh, assuming you're using the preheater and, and it's heated for you know five minutes or so, it's going to be ready to go. Um, what you just saw there were some anesthetic drops, you know, for this uh, for this treatment. And you can see he's just using light pressure and just uh, scraping off the biofilm and, and kind of decapping those glands. He's pulling down the lower lid now, pretty, pretty easy access there. And the, the uh, temperature of that instrument is uh, 42 C. Okay, so now we're going to the second step, which is thermal massage. Again, loading the instrument, 
just double clicking it, saying we're ready to go. Now this one, we are gonna put um, some ultrasound gel on the uh, tip just to help with heat transfer and decrease uh, friction. It does have a two minute timer built in. So you just press and hold the mode button. You're gonna get a two minute timer. Um, again, this is very comfortable. Patients typically love this uh, step. And, and I have to say, I actually uh, love debridement. Uh, I didn't think I would, but I really did. It felt, felt really good. Um, just a tip came up there in terms of battery life. Uh, you should be able to get two, tr two treatments. So two patients on one charge. Um, if you're planning to do a whole bunch in a row, you can plug in the instrument while you're doing massage. As you can see, it's not fine motor control. The, the lid is closed. Um, so you could have that plugged in and, and that way you're saving battery and you'd probably get another patient out of it. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on here to expression. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and load that instrument as well. And we're gonna apply the anesthetic drops again. You know, it's been six or seven minutes maybe since the first uh, drops went in. So you can access both the upper lid. So he's just kind of pulling up the lid there and depress and hold. Uh, the pressure is controlled. So you can't put more than about 10 PSI on that eyelid. Uh, it, it locks out such that you can't exceed that. And you can see the angle of those paddles. So he just switched it now. So he's doing the lower lid. He's got easy access to the lower lid. Uh, and then for the upper lid, you would just flip the uh, device around and the angle would be uh, correct for that as well. And here you're going to see some some pretty good uh, expression because we've debride, we've massaged, and you know, again, we're keeping heat on that right there. So that is pretty much it uh, in terms of the three steps. Um, as you can see, whoops, uh, that is uh, you know not a whole lot of. Not a whole lot of in-servicing, uh, you know, new learning required to use the MGRX.